What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. The driveway is looking pretty full on this very, very cold morning, but I wanna give you guys an update on this car. So for any of you who are new to the channel, this is a 1995 Volkswagen Corrado with the 2E engine, manual transmission, very, very cool car. This is actually a customer car dropped off to me um, a while back at this point, we did a whole bunch of work on the car, valve cover gasket, oil pan gasket, new radiator, battery cover, paint a bunch of stuff, clean a bunch of stuff in the bay, new coolant flange here and there, did the brakes front and rear, new brake lines, e-brake cable, fix the door cards, uh, clean to the paint, just did a whole bunch of work on the car. The car is essentially done, runs great, works for the most part, no problem. The issue we ran into was getting the rear brakes to actually bleed properly, and then I found out. So this car has the ABS system you can see right there and apparently the Corrado ABS is the worst ABS to ever have in terms of like functioning properly um, But the car had gone to a shop I don't know how long ago and they made I don't know what they did exactly But essentially we have an ABS system with none of the ABS things to run the system no computer uh, No ABS relay none of that stuff is in the car um, But somehow they made the rear brakes work or maybe they never worked at all I'm not quite sure the owner was here this morning. He wanted to see the car um, the car looks great. Everything on the car is done. It runs great, starts up no problem. The front brakes do work, but the rear is just not quite done. And I didn't want to give a car back that wasn't done yet. But they were here this morning, uh, looked over the car. They love how everything looks. I think they're gonna go back to the shop that originally worked on the car for the ABS system. Ask them how they made the system work because I don't understand how an ABS system can work without the electronics to actually work the system. So. Um, they're going to go back to that shop, ask them what they did. Maybe they can tell me how they made it work and we can figure it out. But me and Martin tried for like three, four days to uh, get the rear to bleed and we couldn't get any fluid out the backside. Uh, the pumps are turning on the front because there's no computer to run it. There's no relay. Um, we just weren't sure what to do. And again, I didn't want to give the car back. That was potentially unsafe. The front brakes do work. The car stops, no problem. But again, if he has to slam on the brakes and the rear is not functioning properly, you know, I don't want to give a car back that's not safe. So again, they're going to the shop that worked on the car. I um, either the car will go back to that shop and get finished off. They can make it work again, or it might need a new ABS system, a new relay computer, whatever the case might be. Um, I just didn't know what to do any further. I did a bunch of research and everyone said like replace the entire system, but they weren't sure if they wanted to do that. So the cars have been kind of just chilling here, which is fine. I love seeing this thing. Absolutely beautiful car. I've learned to love the black on this car. Red or purple, my favorite for the Crado, but this car cleaned up so nice. I really love the uni black on this thing. But yeah, there's your update on the Crado. Everyone's been asking. It's just been sitting in the back of the shop. Uh, the car said the car is done. It's just figuring out this last step with the rear brakes and the ABS system that's not working properly. But again, hopefully we have that sorted out very soon. They're going to the shop sometime soon and they'll either tell me how to fix it myself or they'll take the car to the shop, they'll handle it and then the Crado will be out of here. Kind of sad. I mean, this thing's been so cool to see here. Very, very awesome to work on a Crado and get to see this car up close. Definitely made me want one even more. They're kind of a mix between a Mark II and a Mark III in terms of like how everything's laid out but super cool, unique car. Eventually I'm gonna have my own and let's go to house one here for a bit. So our original plan for today was to go through and get the taillights put on this car, fix this rear bumper bracket right there and a few other small things for this car. But I think we finally found a set of wheels for the Mark II. Now I had showed two sets on the Patreon which I'll post the new set we're going to see today on there in just a minute. Um, we finally found a good spec set of these wheels. Either they were too wide, too low offset, or not wide enough. We finally found a perfectly spec set of these wheels. Uh, we're gonna look so good on this car. We have to change the color of the faces because it's a bit bright currently, but I think these wheels on this car is just gonna go hand in hand together. It's about a three hour drive. The other wheels are much closer, but these are the wheels that she's been wanting since the very beginning. And to find them, the spec that she wants is awesome. So I'm gonna put this car away, put that car away, hop in the Jetta wagon. I'll go to the gas station then, three hour cruise, get these wheels.
Four cylinders can sound good, but there's just nothing that compares. Nothing compares to the VR6. Let me put you right in there. You hear that? Greatness. All right, let's get this girl filled up. We got a three hour ride ahead of us, but we getting some wheels today, boys. So we got a full tank of fuel. We got all the snacks. We have a 192 mile trip, two hours and 57 minutes to pick up some wheels for the Red Hoopty. And we might have secured some suspension today as well. So we're trying our best to make it and have everything done for your tripper. We'll, uh, we'll see. But wheels today, possibly suspension being ordered today. Oh, that was <laughs> possibly ordered suspension today. And then um, after that, just a few small things. So. I think we're good, hopefully. What's a sitch? So, we're about 30 minutes into our drive. And the whole car smells like nail polish. Because, beauty salon over here. <laughs> it's got the whole setup going. The dryer and everything. But, on the bright side, I just bought a very, very cool piece for this car. Might be here in a couple weeks when Nick from the UK comes over to here. But it's a cool piece I wanted for a while. I've been looking at it and then I finally pulled the trigger today. So that should be here in a couple weeks. So I'm psyched on I'll put it on the Patreon so you guys can see it. Um, but it's the only one I've ever seen of the particular piece. So I'm hyped to have it for this car. You know, I love the VR6 wagon, but she's definitely not as fuel efficient as the TDI or the 1.6. But you know what? So it makes good sounds. This thing cruises out on the highway, so can't complain, but check this out. Check this out. Ready for it? Wait for it. Bam. Schmidt TH Lines. Gorgeous wheels. Again, don't mind the green. That'll change, but awesome Spectra Mark II. Uh, the fronts here are 15 by 8.5 ET31, and the rear, which is this one over here, you can see the deeper dish this is 15 by 9 et25 so amazing specs uh, for the mark ii we'll change the face color uh got brand new tires look at this brand new tires 195 45 all around so bit tar sidewall that way it doesn't look too small in the car but these things are sick the guy had a volkswagen lupo we had him on with like a green mirrors and green roll cage so it all matched together but we'll change this but overall super sick wheels from the car all right she is full once again we weren't out of fuel but i want to stop before i got home just to pull her back up She's doing super good. My wheels are filthy though. Look at this. They're like white. Look at the hatch. Just covered everywhere. Like I said, I think this rear lip adds a huge updraft because I mean, this thing gets dirty so fast. It blows my mind. But yeah, we got an awesome deals on those wheels. Normally anything like eight, eight and a half, nine wide is super pricey with brand new tires, but we got a killer deal and these things are gonna look sick on the Mark II. All right, we got a full tank once again. We have an hour and 57 till we're home. Let's get it. I can feel your All right, so six and like a half hours later, I'm driving and like 405 miles total. Wagon, honestly, killed it. She is thirsty though, not a TDI, not a 1.6 at all, but the power is great. But she did really good. And honestly, this car, like 80 miles an hour, is so smooth and like quiet it's wild but excited yeah. we're home with the precious cargo they're so green yeah they're they're like grinch green honestly i was gonna say like limes but you know like, you know, think about the grinch like looks like the grinch like the baby grinch yeah honestly if they were a bit more like dark green we got like a like christmas kind of vibe on your car but not what we're going for at all like yeah we want to have much better faces also look at this you see it or not big old box Oh yeah. Oh, oh and AutoDoc. Damn, we got Work 34, Work 34, and AutoDoc. That's everything for the Mark II. So we got like what I think what side skirts in there. That side skirts, I think door, door moldings and clips, and then oh, brake yes. rotors, brake pads, and like maintenance wise stuff. Look around right long. Antenna. And then the she also edges. you ordered your suspension tank, correct? Yes. Shoot, we might just make this. Even though they can't ship the suspension until what January third, mm -hmm. and the boat leaves on the eighth, so you know, just minimal. Tight. 
little bit of a tight schedule, but I think we're gonna make it. Got wheels, all these parts showed up. Now it's just suspension and just put all together, which on a Mark II shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> shouldn't be too hard. So uh, we're gonna load these and then go inside. We'll check in tomorrow because it's late. We've done a lot of driving today. There's my lights. Yeah, so the wagon, this is like the first like long road trip. The thing did absolutely amazing. Didn't miss a beat. Uh, about six and a half hours total of driving, a little over 400 miles. I mean, the car crushed it. Like no issues at all. Rode so smooth on uh, the vibrations, no weird noises. Absolutely killed it. Again, keep saying, definitely not a TDI, definitely not a 1.6. I'm used to going on road trips in those cars and my gas needle like barely moves. On this car, it's like slowly just creeping down. But again, uh, it sounds amazing. And having the power to get onto the Autobahn, it's just so much better. I love this thing. It's just, it's been great so far. Yo, let me show you these things in the light because whew, they are green, like green, green, green. Oh man, like I said, the guy I bought it from had a Volkswagen Lupo with a green roll cage, uh, green mirrors, tons of green accents, and the wheels match that. He's actually a painter and had a body shop as well, which is pretty cool. But yo, these are sick. So, so good. We had a lot of other wheel options, but Casey from the beginning has wanted teach lines for so, so long. And we found a bunch, but they were either the wrong bolt pattern and wouldn't work with adapters to be too wide. Or we found some that were 4x100, but 15 by 9 ET0, or just like crazy specs that wouldn't work. But this set right here, the perfectly spec set that actually he posted for sale this morning, we happened to see it and bought them same day. So again, 15 by 8.5 ET31 on the front. 15 by 9 ET25 in the rear. Such good specs for a Mark II. Very conservative. There's going to fit super nice. Might need a spacer in the rear to clear the rear beam or the suspension. Possibly. We might not. I don't know. Um, but going to be such good fitment on the car. Brand new 195 45 tire. Look at this. You see that? Brand new. He said he drove like five kilometers on them and that was it and took them back off. So brand new tires. Wheels are in great shape. Got to pull the faces out and repaint them. But this is a beautiful set killer deal and they're gonna look so good on that car not in the green because that and that just clashes horribly but once we paint them that's gonna be such a beautiful set on this car such a nice og wheel so we looked at a lot of other wheels some speed lines some azs but just the th lines i just love old school og wheels just so sick now the savoy has the hres Miley has the Zobbers, and now TH lines for the good old Mark II, and eventually I'll have my OC Cygnus for the Pink Floyd. Just a whole bunch of cool classic wheels, and so cool to see these things. So like I said, at this point, it is looking very promising that this car should make it to Florida. Hopefully no problem. Um, suspension was ordered today. That'll be here sometime very early January. Like I said, the boat leaves on the 8th, which is the latest date, so it's all we got, but Wheels are here today. Um, our headlights showed up today. Side skirts, the new clip for the door molding, uh, the door handle pieces. Um, we have new wiper blades, a whole bunch of like maintenance stuff, the brake rotors, the brake pads, oil pan gasket, and like that kind of stuff. Um, so all we're waiting for is suspension. The rest of it is very, very easy to do, to slap on the car. And even the suspension for this car, it's a Mark II, very simple to put on. Um, so fingers crossed, I think we are pretty well set. Uh, paint on the car is perfect, trim paint's done. So we're sitting pretty good right now. Yo, this poor car is absolutely disgusting. But for the first road trip in this thing, I couldn't be more proud. Maybe tomorrow we'll get her washed up because this poor thing looking rough, dude. Look at this. The car's like gray now. Yeah, maybe tomorrow we're gonna wash in because can't have it like this. All right, good morning, boys. It is Christmas Eve right now. Weather kind of sucks, kind of super rainy. We're actually planning on driving the Mark II on base today because we have the plates for it. Um, all the parts showed up, but I don't know if we want to drive it in this. The car's gonna be disgusting if we drive it today, so we'll see about that. But all the parts came in. She's got like this brand new. Hella headlights over here. We've got uh, brake rotors, brake pads, all that kind of stuff. And this big box over here, we have the new side skirts. You see right there. All this came from Work 34. So brand new side skirts with the end cap right there. Looking super nice. Somewhere in there, there's door handle pieces and grommets for the side moldings. But yeah, there's just tons and tons of stuff. So I'm gonna go through it fast and get these painted this morning. So they're nice and new and they match the rest of the pieces. And then uh, hopefully in the car today, and I said we might drive it today, but 
the weather kind of sucks. It is time to get to work. We have the new side skirts all set up, ready for some trim paint. Now these are brand new and the color is very nice, but the trim paint's a bit more dark and we want this to match the rest of the car. So got to paint them as well. I've also had a lot of questions asking, what kind of prep work do you need to use trim paint? Now trim paint is very forgiving and very user friendly, which is nice. Usually I just go through, wipe everything clean. So there's no grease, oil, dirt, that kind of stuff. These are brand new, so they're pretty much good to go. Um, but a quick wipe down and then after that, now when you're spraying on a texture surface like this, the paint does stick a little bit better. Um, but same as like spray paint, get a nice light layer across the entire thing, let it dry, then come back and build up and build up. It's very, very easy to use. Now, when using trim paint, not on a texture surface like this and something more like this, where it's all nice and smooth, you can either give it a very, very light scuff or do a very nice light, light layer of trim paint, let that dry and then build up from there. Um, like I said, trim paint is very, very easy to use. And if you mess up, just send it down and restart. But overall, this stuff is so easy to use. It goes on super nice, dry, super nice. And it's just my favorite you know i just love this stuff so yeah there's your very brief review on how to use trim paint again it's very very easy to use uh very forgiving goes on super nice and looks great and i'm not gonna say it lasts forever but it definitely lasts a very very long time i have people tell me all the time that trim paint is not gonna last it's not gonna look good it's gonna flake off it won't survive the winter time if you remember my bore wagon the silver one we trim painted the front lip uh the front molding all the lower grills the door handles roof rails that car went through two winters here in germany plus the junkyard salty roads icy roads snow all that kind of stuff and it looked brand new at the very end when I sold it to how I put it on the very beginning. Again, I'm not going to say it lasts forever, but it definitely lasts a very, very long time if you take care of it. And even if you don't, I mean, I hit the dirt at the Nürburgring in Miley with my trim painted front lip at 120 and it still looked good afterwards and it still held up. So it can take some abuse. It's not going to just fade and flake. All the people say I've had stuff on Miley painted now for probably four or five years. Still looks great. This stuff lasts. It can definitely handle the winter time, the weather, no problem. The rain, the sun in Florida. It, it handles it all. Like I said, it's one of my favorite products. It works so, so good. And again, I'm not gonna say it lasts forever, but it kind of seems like it does. And it just, I don't know, it's awesome. Very, very good stuff. So I'll give you guys that quick before shot and then we'll check back in after it's done. All right, so final coat just went down. We'll let them sit for a few hours and dry and then hopefully on the car today. what you think, looking good? Final piece. Nice. Looking good. All I needed was just this little Insert, but I couldn't find those by itself, so I just bought the whole, the whole side Yeah, how all brand new ones is good. Yeah. They were, they look nice before, but now to have them in trim paint and actually master rest is perfect. So let them dry and then uh, toss them on the car later. All right, so we're back home now. We went grocery shopping and did some last minute Christmas stuff, but been a few hours. Our side skirts should be completely done. Let's see how we're looking down here. What we got, what we got. Dang so good the trim paint always comes out so good it's like that just oem plus is a bit shinier a bit more black so so good so these are ready for the mark ii Ooh, there she is looking as red as ever so there's just parts ever for this car look how nice the new girl badge looks brand new compared to this one here and then a new one for the back as well brand new and then like the antenna right here so new bumper clips and there's just parts everywhere headlights new door speakers because we have the car broken tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff and right now she's swapping out the rear bumper bracket and it turns out so this is the rear bracket uh, off the mark three like the square one and then this style here is for the front but the front of the Mark III is the exact same as the rear on the Mark II, and the part number matches is all the same. So you gotta pull this little metal insert out, but then all the same. So we're gonna fix the one on that side, and then remember, come back on.
insert, 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 insert. The car is coming together nicely. Got the all reds in the back. The red and red looks sick. I got the moldings done on this side and I've got the rear one on this side done. I have to go through and fix actual molding on the door one because some of the actual plastic pieces that hold the clips in are broken. You can see that one's broken and this one's broken, but the plastic piece is still there. That little piece that's like hanging out with your life. I'm going to try and like glue these back down and fix it like that. So it should be okay because the piece is still there. And then we have to swap. We actually had the entire front end together, uh, grow back in. Look how nice the new badge looks. Super, super nice. We had the new headlights in as well, but we forgot to swap over the adjuster motor and the lower lights. So we're gonna pull them back out. We're actually going go inside and I'll work on this for a minute because it's freezing out here. So we'll go inside, we'll swap the motors over from the old headlights to the new ones, and then come back and get all sorted out. And hopefully I can fix this. It should work, no problem. But the car's looking good. Look at this. Look at this thing. So good with the moldings on now. So I should go back on in just a minute, but she's looking good. So it's probably been about an hour and a half that I filmed anything. Uh, we went inside, I fixed the molding I'll show you on the far side, which is kind of annoying because it's still sticking out a little bit because either the moldings kind of flared out or these new clips, you can see right there, it's kind of sticking out. So I might need another new clip or is it heat up and bend in? But that's a brand new clip that's popping out, which is kind of annoying. But uh, that one's back on. We spent forever tearing apart these headlight housings, putting the old housing on the new lights. So nice new lights, a new emblem, all nice and shiny. And then on this side, I got the first side screw back on. So this side of the car is pretty much completely complete, minus the door handle insert pieces. Um, but these things, you got to really smack them like really hard to get the little clips underneath to pop in. But now that's on all trim painted so with a bit of a heat gun persuasion i got this side to sit much flatter and this back piece as well well there's still a little gap which kind of drive me insane but at least it's sitting flat mostly to the car uh should be okay the clip behind it's still kind of messed up i kind of wrapped it in some tape and shoved it back in it's better it's definitely flush to the car but i don't know i can still see behind it a little bit and it's kind of irritating me but it'll do for now a few moments later All I did was open the door and then they com it completely fell off. Like I literally just <laughs> all, my, like this all my hard work, all my heat gunning, and the whole thing just fell off. Did it break, break all over. these? Oh, well, that one's broken. That one, the one that I fixed broke off again. But how do all these pop out of there? I don't know. This is all I did all was out. open the door. Was it hitting the front? Like over here? That So that's why I made the first face. was like, oh, because it, it hit the front. And then when I went to slowly close it back, it just fell off the, the door. Yeah, these clips suck, honestly. I see why the guy took a screw and just drilled it in the body of the car. Because, like, even brand new clips and brand new everything, they still suck. Not great. That's actually broken. A lot of these have popped in. They all, they all stay in the body of the car. And that's annoying. Well, We'll, we'll do this another. I don't want to deal with this anymore. It's very annoying. We're going to put the wheels on the car and call it a night. What the heck? That's dumb. This is a dumb idea. Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay, well, molding, you can just you can be right over there. No, this is going to be there. It's right there for you. We're going to put some very, very green wheels on the car. she's green 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 now we just did a whole bunch in her video um but fitment wise it's great this is 15 by eight and a half et 31 
and we have room to go out further if we wanted to in the rear 15 by 9 uh, ET25, which again, plenty of room to go further out. Uh, there's plenty of room, the car's on the ground now, but there's plenty of room between the barrel and the strut, but the rear beam on this side and the barrel, which I can get you in there, you can kind of see right up in there. It's barely, I can't tell if it's the brick that's kind of like rubbing or it's that, but it's like barely, barely touching. The wheel spins no problem. It could self notch itself if it's an issue and be good, but we'll probably do a five or 10 mil spacer in the rear just to be clear of everything. And then it's good to go. Like I said, I don't, I don't hate the green as much as I was into. Like that color and the red should never be together, but it's not the worst thing ever. It'll be much better once they're it's silver, right? You said that silver? Yes. We're gonna do a nice, like a, like a high finish silver, something like this. Pretty much this finish right here on the, the BBSs, on those, should look great. We were gonna do chrome faces, but there's just not enough time. Uh, so we can always do it later on. But a silver face with the red car, just classic OG look. It looks good. Look at that thing. Not bad. So now, end of the video here. We're having tacos tonight, and I'm starving. We've been doing car stuff all day long, but not a bad a Christmas Eve spent. This has been fun getting the car ready. Maybe the new tradition. Yeah. yeah. Car show prepping, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that kind of stuff. But she's looking good. But by the time you guys watch this video, it'll be Christmas Day. So we guys have a very Merry Christmas, friends and family. Uh, you enjoy the day if you celebrate it and all that kind of fun stuff. We will be doing, well, more of this, which is fun. <laughs> it might be a new tradition, uh, doing car stuff, Christmas Day, Christmas Eve. I got stuff, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have a very Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys next time. Do not forget, be thankful for a special day. We'll see you guys next time. You gonna do it? I'm all over here. You better come on over I'm here, so though. I'm tired. Just do it. I'll come to you. Peace. Long time. Smack it, smack it, smack it.